good morning my dear friends myself abdul samir pm assistant professor of economics government college malappuram today we are going to discuss an important topic which is called as the income determination in a three sector model before that i would like to ask you what is this three sector or two sectors etc during the previous classes we have studied about uh, the keynesian two sector model in that particular discussion we know that there are two sectors in an economy so keynes assumed that in a two sector model there are only two sectors namely household sector and business sector in if we are adding a one more sector to the keynesian two sector model that is called as government sector then that two sector will become a three sector model so in a three sector model there will be household sector and then investment business sector or investment sector as well as there will be a government sector now our basic concern is how the equilibrium level of national income is determined in a three sector model there are two conditions or there are two requirements for the attainment of equilibrium level of national income in a three sector model one of them is equality between aggregate demand and the aggregate supply so the first requirement is aggregate demand should be equal to aggregate supply the next condition is that uh, savings should be equal to investment so we have studied that uh, in a keynesian three sector macroeconomic model in order to determine the equilibrium level of national income there should be equality between aggregate demand as well as aggregate supply now the question is what is this aggregate demand we are all know that uh, aggregate demand is the sum total of all the demand from all sectors in an economy during a time period so it is the demand of all sectors in an economy during the last year say for example 2019 or in 2020 or 2020 march etc uh, so as per our discussion the aggregate demand consists of the first one is household consumption demand or it is also called as household consumption expenditure which can be denoted as c the next component of aggregate demand will be private investment demand and it can be denoted as i and the third component of aggregate demand is government expenditure demand and if we are writing all these components of aggregate demand into a single equation it will be like ad is equal to c plus i plus g now we are writing this equation of aggregate demand that is ad is equal to c plus i plus g like yd is equal to c plus i plus g what is yd here your yd is equal to disposable national income or simply now we say that this is national income so national income is equal to c plus i plus g why we can write aggregate demand is equal to uh, the disposable national income or national income we know that since all the output produced in an economy during a period will be consumed either by household sector for their consumption or by private sector for their investment or by the government sector for the government expenditure for government in investment in a three sector model so as per the expenditure method of national income this is the summation of all the expenditure so aggregate demand can be written as national income the next question is what is aggregate supply aggregate supply is the sum total of all output produced in an economy during a reference period so aggregate supply is equal to the total output of an the total output of an economy as well as the income of an economy so aggregate supply is equal to total output then if you are converting the produced output into monetary terms it will be national income so we can write it as aggregate supply is equal to national income and a is equal to y here y is equal to national income so the components of aggregate supply are consumption plus savings now the question is how the consumption and saving will be equal to the aggregate supply or that will be equal to national income since 
all the earned income in an economy or all the all the earned income by a person that will be either consumed or part will be saved so the income of a person or income of an economy is the summation of consumption plus savings so we can write it as a c is equal to c plus s or y is equal to c plus s now we are going to discuss the determination of national income in a three sector model we have already learned from the first slide itself is that the national income can be determined by the equality between aggregate demand as well as aggregate supply or by the equality between savings and investment we are going to discuss this equality in detail at first we are discussing this equality in mathematical form or in algebraical form we know that the aggregate demand is equal to national income is equal to c plus i plus g and aggregate supply is equal to uh, c plus s yes. and for the equality aggregate demand should be equal to or at equilibrium aggregate demand should be equal to aggregate supply so we can write it as c plus i plus g is equal to c plus s yes. since uh, consumption is coming in both side of the equation or c is coming in both side of the equation we can strike it out uh, both of the c is then the equation will be become like uh, i plus g is equal to s yes. so this equation shows that uh, the i the private investment demand uh, as well as the g the government expenditure uh, the government investment uh, should be equal to uh, the savings in an economy i plus g is the total investment in an economy the investment should be equal to savings these two conditions or these two equalities can be can also be expressed with the help of the uh, graph below so the equilibrium level of national income can be explained with the help of a figure look at this particular figure this is x axis and this is y axis on x axis we measure income and on y axis we measure c plus i plus g or that is aggregate demand and now we are drawing a 45 degree line this 45 degree line is equal to aggregate supply curve or national income curve why 45 degree line is called as aggregate supply curve 45 degree lines are called as guide lines such a guide lines will help us to identify the equilibrium when two variables such like income and uh, aggregate demand has to be shown in a graph so the 45 degree line will help us to understand uh, when this aggregate demand curve when the aggregate demand curve intersects the aggregate supply curve now we are drawing an aggregate uh, demand curve this is the aggregate demand curve c if there is only a single sector that is household sector and uh, this is a single sector if we are adding one more sector that is business sector then the aggregate demand curve will move to upward direction and this will be the new aggregate demand curve aggregate demand is equal to c plus i consumption plus private investment expenditure now the equilibrium will be established here in a two sector model that is by the equality of aggregate supply curve as well as aggregate demand curve so the national income will be at a oy or it can be called as the national income will be equal to oy now our topic of discussion is not about uh, two sector model we are discussing about a three sector model we are adding one more sector that is government sector by adding government expenditure to this particular graph so this is the this area is the government expenditure graph then the aggregate demand curve will again shift to upward direction this is the new aggregate demand curve this that is equal to c plus i plus g in this particular point there is the equilibrium in a three sector model where aggregate supply curve intersect aggregate demand curve and the national income will be equal to oy1 this level of national income will be higher than that of the national income in a two sector model the second requirement for establishment of equilibrium in a three sector model is savings should be equal to investment so in this particular graph in x axis we measure income and in y axis we measure savings investment as well as uh, government investment this is the saving curve this saving curve is an upward sloping curve why this saving curve is an upward sloping curve because as income increases saving also increases and uh, this particular curve starts from x axis because 
at initial level of income there will be no savings or in some instance instances there may be savings or negative savings and in order to show equilibrium or saving investment equality we have to draw or we have to show an investment curve this is the investment curve in a two sector model or this is the private investment curve now again you may have a doubt why this particular investment curve is a horizontal straight line because keynes assumed that the investment in his three sector model is autonomous investment what is autonomous investment autonomous investment is independent of changes in income that means whatever may be the income there will be no changes in autonomous investment if income is higher or income is lower that will not affect the level of investment so since the assumption by assumption it is drawn as a horizontal straight line and uh, this is the initial equilibrium in a two sector model equality of saving and uh, investment and the equilibrium level of national income will, will be established in a two sector model at a oy and this is similar to the uh, this level of national income and if you are adding one more sector into this particular model then the model will become a, a three sector model so we are added uh, the government investment into the two sector model so this is the new investment curve c i plus g is the new investment curve this i plus g new investment curve intersect uh, the saving curve at this particular equilibrium point e1 so this is the equilibrium in a three sector model and we can show that uh, the level of national income at this particular equilibrium level of equilibrium level e is equal to o y1 so from this particular class from this particular slide uh, or from this particular graph uh, we can understand that uh, the equilibrium in a three sector model can be explained uh, with the help of the equality between aggregate demand and aggregate supply or by the equality between savings and uh, investment so assumptions keynesian three sector model is based on certain assumptions one of them is keynes assumes that uh, there are only three sectors in an economy they are household consumption sector and business sector as well as government sector the second assumption is that uh, there is a the economy is a closed one the economy is a closed one means uh, there is no international trade that means there is no exports as well as importing if you are adding international trade into his three sector model then that model will become a four sector model the next assumption is the economy is at a less than full employment level of output keynes assume that the economy is operating at a less than full employment level of output why he made such an assumption if the economy is already working at full employment level of output then the inclusion of a government sector will leads to or the increase in government expenditure or government expenditure will leads to inflation so that is why keynes assume that the economy is at a less than full employment level of output the next assumption is this is the very crucial assumption for the discussion we have made so far keynes assume that there are no taxes so if there are taxes the national income will not be equal to disposable income we are all know that disposable income means if you have a income of say for example if you have an income of rupees 10000 and you have to pay rupees 1000 as taxation then the disposable income or the income that you can be used for consumption or saving will be equal to 9000 here the yt is equal to that 9000 but keynes assume that uh, there is no tax uh, there is no taxation so yd will be equal to y or disposable national income is equal to national income the next assumption is that uh, there is no government intervention keynes also assume that uh, there is no government intervention but you have to you don't have to confuse that uh, by making such an assumption keynes does not mean that uh, there is no government in an economy we have already showed uh, the government intervention or uh, or government expenditure in his three sector model keynes here just assumes only there is no government intervention in the regular activity of a market mechanism that means the government will not influence in the decision making of the prices or in the level of determination of the level of output and uh, uh, another important assumption is keynes assume that uh, the investment is autonomous why keynes make such an assumption we have shown that uh, the investment curve is a horizontal straight line autonomous investment means that uh, investment is independent of 
income or whatever may be the income or higher level at a higher level of income or at a lower level of income investment will remain will remains the same so another assumption is the autonomous investment and the last assumption is that uh, keynes assumes uh, the price as well as wage rate uh, and the rate of interest uh, all these prices to the factors of production are assumed to be constant so changes in all these variables will not influence the equilibrium level of output the second part of our discussion is on the effect of taxes on the level of national income so far we have studied the determination of national income in a three sector model by taking the government sector and we assumed that the government is doing only a single activity that is government expenditure but we know that the government activity is not limited to expenditure only it also include taxes so we have to look what will be the effect of taxation on the level of national income when the government imposes a tax that will reduce the amount of national income so the remaining will be the disposable income so when the government imposes taxes then the tax rate should have to be subtracted or reduced from the national income the remaining part will be this disposable income it can be written as yd so now the disposable income is equal to y minus t where y is equal to as you know y is equal to national income t is equal to tax and yd is equal to disposable income now the disposable income will be less than that of national income so what will be the effect of a taxation the effect of a taxation on the equilibrium level of national income will be people will reduce the consumption expenditure when people will reduce the consumption expenditure that will ultimately leads to a reduction in national income so how now we are showing the effect of taxation on the equilibrium level of national income by with this simple diagram in x axis we are measuring c plus i plus g that is aggregate demand and in y axis we measure income and this is the 45 degree line aggregate supply curve and we are adding the government expenditure or we are adding the aggregate demand curve this is the aggregate demand curve in a, a three sector model that is c plus i plus g and this is the equilibrium point where the aggregate supply curve intersect the aggregate demand curve this is the initial level of national income that is oy1 now our basic concern is what will be the effect of taxation on this particular equilibrium level of national income as you know when the government imposes taxes there will be a reduction of consumption expenditure so the aggregate demand curve will be shifted to downward direction like this this is the new aggregate demand curve where c1 is equal to the changed consumption expenditure and uh, i is equal to private investment expenditure and g is equal to government expenditure so this is the new equilibrium point e1 where the new aggregate demand curve intersect the 45 degree line aggregate supply curve so the equilibrium level of national income will be reduced from oy2 oy1 oy2 oy1 okay through this particular graph we can understand that if government imposes a taxation in an economy that will reduce the equilibrium level of national income now we are going to look what will be the effect of taxation on savings and investment so national income consists of consumption savings yes as well as taxes when government imposes taxes the national income will be just like y is equal to c plus s plus t initially it was only consumption plus savings now the taxation will be reduced from saving so the national income will be equal to c plus s plus t here what will be the effect of taxation on saving that is our concern when the government imposes taxes that leads to a reduction of savings on the part of people so the consumption curve will shift to the leftward direction and the result will be there is a reduction of equilibrium level of national income we can show that with the help of a figure below through this particular graph we are showing the effect of taxation on savings and thereby the effect on the equilibrium level of national income on the x axis we are measuring income and the y axis we are measuring savings 
ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ടാക്സേഷൻ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ആക്ച്വലി ടാക്സേഷൻ ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ സേവിങ് കർവ് ആസ് വി ആ ഓൾറെഡി ഡിസ്കസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എൻ അപ്പാർട്ട് സ്ലോപ്പിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഫ്രോം ദ എക്സ് ആക്സസ് ബിക്കോസ് അറ്റ് ഇനീഷ്യൽ ലെവൽ ഓഫ് ഇൻകം ദെർ വിൽ ബി നോ സേവിങ്സ് ഓർ സം ടൈപ്സ് ഓർ സം ടൈംസ് ഇറ്റ് മേ ബി ഡി സേവിങ്സ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു ഷോ ഇക്വലിബ്രിയം ഇൻ എ ടു സെക്ടർ മോഡൽ വി ഹാവ് ടു ഡ്രോ എൻ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് കർവ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് പാരലൽ ടു എക്സ് ആക്സിസ് ഐ ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി ടോൾഡ് യു ദാറ്റ് കെയിൻസ് അസ്യൂം ദാറ്റ് ദി ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ഓട്ടോണോമസ് വൺ സോ നൗ വി ആർ ആഡിങ് ദ ഗവൺമെൻറ് സെക്ടർ ഓർ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ഇൻ ടു ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ടു സെക്ടർ മോഡൽ ദൻ ദി ദ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ് ദ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ഓർ ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ് വിൽ ഷിഫ്റ്റ് ദ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് കർവ് ഇൻ ടു ദ അപ്പാർഡ് ഡയറക്ഷൻ നൗ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ന്യൂ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് കർവ് ന്യൂ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് കർവ് ഈസ് ടേംഡ് ആസ് ഐ പ്ലസ് ജി സോ ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ന്യൂ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് കർവ് ഐ പ്ലസ് ജി ഈസ് ഇൻട്രസ്പെക്റ്റിംഗ് ദ സപ്ലൈ കർവ് അറ്റ് ദ ഇക്വലിബ്രിയം ഇ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഇക്വലിബ്രിയം ലെവൽ ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകോം ബിഫോർ ദ ഇമ്പോസിഷൻ ഓഫ് ടാക്സേഷൻ നൗ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലുക്ക് വാട്ട് വിൽ ബി ദ ഇഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ടാക്സേഷൻ ഓൺ സേവിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ബൈ നാഷണൽ ഇൻകോം വെൻ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഇമ്പോസസ് ടാക്സസ് പീപ്പിൾ വിൽ റിഡ്യൂസ് ദ സേവിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് സേവിങ്സ് കർ വിൽ ഷിഫ്റ്റ് ടു ദ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ബാർ ഡയറക്ഷൻ നൗ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ സേവിങ് കർവ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ടാക്സേഷൻ സോ സേവിങ് പ്ലസ് ടാക്സേഷൻ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ നാഷണൽ ലിങ്ക് ആക്ച്വലി സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ന്യൂ സേവിങ് കർ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ന്യൂ സേവിങ് കർവ് ദിസ് ദിസ് ന്യൂ സേവിങ് കർവ് ഈസ് ഇൻട്രസെക്റ്റിംഗ് ദ ഇനീഷ്യൽ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് കർവ് ഐ പ്ലസ് ജി അറ്റ് ഇക്വലിബ്രിയം ഇ വൺ സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ന്യൂ ഇക്വലിബ്രിയം ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഇക്വലിബ്രിയം ലെവൽ ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം സോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഇഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ടാക്സേഷൻ ഓൺ സേവിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ബൈ ദ ഇക്വലിബ്രിയം ലെവൽ ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം ഫ്രം ദ ടേബിൾ ഓർ ഫ്രം ദ ഫ്രം ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഡയഗ്രാം ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്ലിയർ ദാറ്റ് വെൻ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഇമ്പോസസ് ടാക്സസ് ദ സപ്ലൈ കാർ ഷിഫ്റ്റ് ഫ്രം റൈറ്റ് ടു ലെഫ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ഇസ് എ ന്യൂ ഇക്വലിബ്രിയം എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് അറ്റ് പോയിൻറ്റ് ഇ വൺ ആൻഡ് അറ്റ് ദിസ് ന്യൂ ഇക്വലിബ്രിയം ദ ലെവൽ ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം ഒ വൈ വൺ വിച്ച് ഈസ് ലെസ് ദാൻ ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം ഓഫ് ഒ വൈ ബിഫോർ ദ ഇമ്പോസിഷൻ ഓഫ് ടാക്സേഷൻ സോ ടു കൺക്ലൂഡ് വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് സോ ഫാർ വി ഹാവ് സ്റ്റഡീഡ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഇൻകം ഡിറ്റർമിനേഷൻ ഇൻ എ ത്രീ സെക്ടർ മോഡൽ ഫോർ ഇൻകം ഡിറ്റർമിനേഷൻ ഇൻ എ ത്രീ സെക്ടർ മോഡൽ വി ഹാവ് സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ദാറ്റ് ദർ ദർ ആർ ടു കണ്ടീഷൻസ് ഓർ ആർ ടു ക്രൈറ്റീരിയാസ് ദാറ്റ് ആസ് ടു ബി സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈഡ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് അഗ്രിഗേറ്റ് ഡിമാൻഡ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു അഗ്രിഗേറ്റ് സപ്ലൈ ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ലെവൽ ഓഫ് ഇൻകം സേവിങ്സ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ടോട്ടൽ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇയർ ഐ പ്ലസ് ജി ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു പ്രൈവറ്റ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് അവർ ക്ലാസ് വി ഹാവ് ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് അബൌട്ട് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദി ഇഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ടാക്സേഷൻ ഓൺ സേവിങ്സ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് കൺസംഷൻ ആൻഡ് ദർ ബൈ ദ ലെവൽ ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം വി ഹാവ് ഓൾസോ സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ഇഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ടാക്സേഷൻ വിൽ ലീഡ്സ് ടു റിഡക്ഷൻ ഇൻ കൺസംഷൻ എക്സ്പെൻഡിച്ചർ ആൻഡ് ദർ ബൈ ദർ ഈസ് എ റിഡക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് അഗ്രിഗേറ്റ് ഡിമാൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് വിൽ അൾട്ടിമേറ്റ്ലി ലീഡ്സ് ടു റിഡക്ഷൻ ഇൻ നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം വി ഹാവ് ഓൾസോ എക്സാമിൻ ഡെ വാട്ട് വിൽ ബി ദ ഇഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ടാക്സേഷൻ ഓൺ സേവിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ബൈ ദ ലെവൽ ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം ആൻഡ് വി നോ നോ ദാറ്റ് ദ വെൻ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഇമ്പോസസ് എ ടാക്സേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ലീഡ്സ് ടു ഡിക്രീസ് ഫ്രം ദ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് സേവിങ്സ് ദാറ്റ് മേ കൗസ് എ ലെഫ്റ്റ് വാർഡ് ഷിഫ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദ സപ്ലൈ കർവ് ആൻഡ് ദ ന്യൂ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഇക്വലിബ്രിയം വിൽ ബി എ ലോവർ ലെവൽ ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം ദാൻ ദ ലെവൽ ഓഫ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻകം വിത്തൗട്ട് ദ ടാക്സേഷൻ താങ്ക് യു